IPM News, I'm David Pierce. There are mixed feelings with Kamala Harris becoming the Democratic presidential nominee after Joe Biden bowed out last month. Some excited, some undecided. Now until November, I'll be checking in with Central Illinoisans to see what they're thinking ahead of the election on our Voice of the Voters series. Traditionally, candidates running for president have been male and white. Kamala Harris is the first black and South Asian woman to top the ticket. That excites 22-year-old Nina Bonner, a black master's student returning to the University of Illinois. This is her second time voting in a presidential election. She is on paper a more progressive candidate, I think, and is what the Democratic Party needs to at least have a better chance at beating Trump. Bonner says former President Donald Trump taking pride in reproductive rights being overturned is a sign that Harris is needed. You know, a lot of people are talking about Project 2025. Um, that's on the line. So I think him just representing the far right right now and like kind of taking our country back in a lot of ways. In July, the Kamala Harris Tim Walls campaign raised more than $300 million. NPR reports the majority of that money has come from first time donors. At a farmer's market in Pyatt County, we met up with one first time voter. Her name is Hannah, who did not give us her last name. The University of Kentucky sophomore says it's empowering to see a woman running for president, but not enough to earn her vote. I am a very strong Christian, so I believe in voting as a Christian first. Um, and with that, I'm going to be looking for, I don't know, the values behind the different candidates. Whether it's Trump or Harris, Hannah wants someone who promotes peace. Those are um, my main values. Um, loving your neighbor as yourself. And obviously that can be seen that in our country today, that's not really being followed. And that really makes me sad. Hannah also says she hasn't made a final decision on who she'll vote for. According to a NPR and Marist poll conducted between August 1st and the 4th, Harris is gaining support from black voters and white women with college degrees, while Trump leads among men and white voters without degrees. David Pierce, IPM News.